How you doing people? Random here. So today I got this in the mail. It's the Security 24-7 by Stanley. Um, it's got a 50 millimeter wide body, uh, one inch shackle hole. It is an amazing lock actually. Uh, really, 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 really heavy. I'm going to say it's uh, steel, is my guess. I don't have a magnet here. I really need one of those little... I do have a magnet. Yes, I do. Yeah, she's steel. So, steel body, brass core, um, hard cut shackle. Now, I seen Bosnian and Bill open the big brother of this, and it was a heck of a deal. I had different core in it. Uh, because this one has one of the little anti-drill blades that spin fully. So, it'd be a heck of a one to open. But let's see if we can pick it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What am I going to use on this one? Not that one. Mm, I just had one. There we go. I'll use this one. I just had one another lock that I like, which is this one. So let's see. I'll take this out of there, actually. It's at Texas Gym. What I've been working on is pin and pin. It's quite the uh, uh, pain in the butt. <clears throat> but I'll get it. We will get it. Should be a 50 mil tension wrench. Yeah, most likely. This is a Schlage style keyway, so yeah, let's just flip that around to get the right side in there, and we'll be good. Okay. Yeah, I'll zoom in for you, and we'll see what's going on. <coughs> Little click out of two, nothing out of three, nothing out of four. Little click out of five. Little click out of three. Nothing out of one. Two's already set. I'll try three again, but a little false set when I hit three again. A little um counter rotation, but we'll give that a shot. Mm, I lost something on that one. I felt like something went weird. There's pin two again, so it dropped. There's pin five. And apparently I was missing a pin at the back. Another little, oh, we're open. I thought that was a false set. Cool. Oh, well, that wasn't all that bad. I don't think there's nothing in here. They have a great body on it, but I'd highly doubt there's anything cool on the inside. There's writing on the back here. Let's see what they say. Okay, cut resistance shackle protects against sawing and cutting attacks. Uh, hardened steel uh, protects lock from attacks, which I gear it like this is. Yeah, it's heavy. Like there's definitely some crazy seal in there. Um, patented keyway cover, press against drilling and attacks. Uh, six pin rekeyable solid brass cylinder with anti-pick that resists, anti-pick pin that resists picking attacks. So they say it's incredible. But you know, it could, just could have been the bidding on it too. Let's see if we can get these keys out because we'll need them out when we, uh, hmm. I'm going to rekey it because now it's in the lock position. Spin the turn. Right, one will do for now, eh? <clears throat> now let's see what's on the ends. Hmm. Oh, it's on the opposite side underneath the shackle hole. So, let's see if we can 
find the right Allen key. Hey, maybe it is a four. Yeah, it's a four. Okay. Let's see what we got. Now I'm gonna hold this down because I've never had this style apart before. So I don't know if the spring's gonna go patingy and take off on me when I take this out, so it shouldn't. I'm just gonna get a tray ready. Nice and slow. wonder if I have to stick this in the unlocked position to get the spring out. Okay. There is the world's freaking smallest Allen key down in there. Holy... I might not even have one that small. Let's see. A long too. That's well that sucks ass. How many of that apart? Oh wait, hold on. Might actually have the one. It's larger than that. Oh my lord. I did not make this easy. Well, that took a little bit of ingenuity to get that apart. Okay. We're getting there. Maybe the world's longest gutting and took quicker to pick than it did to, to gut it. Let's get those out of the way so we don't get any confusion. Clean work site is a happy work site, isn't that the deal? Look at that plate on the bottom of that. Yeah, that's that's beefy. I'm not messing around this little ball bearing, it must have sat right on there. Which must have just kept this plug in place. Okay. This looks like... Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if it pens on... I'm going to have to play around with that. Depends on how you place that. Whether it's key retaining or not. Or maybe it's just meant to slide inside of there. But either way. That's a pretty cool lock body. It's amazing that they actually got a KIK to fit inside there. So let's take it apart. Mm. So far, so good. Oh, yeah, the spring. That's a lot of parts. <laughs> okay, now we need a follower. Should be this one. Okay. Let's 
see what we got inside of here. I don't see anything special on those pins. Uh, standard, 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 standard. That's crazy bidding on that key, though. That probably just keep this bidding and uh, swap the pins out with something just a little more uh, entertaining. Okay. I'm not gonna pull the springs out because we pretty much know what's gonna be inside of there. Well, we do have a odd little spool there. It's got a little bit of a reduced diameter top on that one. You know, I just saw something pretty crazy that I might be wrong, but I think they got different springs in here. I see one at least. There we are. Okay, so nothing too special. I got one reduced diameter right there at the end, and then two really crappy spools. The bottom almost look like anti-drill, but I want to show you this. If I can get them out. Okay. Pin one is a copper. My lord. Okay. Pin two is a steel. You ever seen that? That's crazy. It's almost like they were going for a spring tension difference because that is a stronger spring in a stock lock. And then we have copper, 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 and copper. So yeah, that is the Stanley 24-7 security. Um, sorry for the super long gutting. Uh, I've never taken one of these apart before, and now I uh, now I know what it takes to get inside one of these. Um, now, Bozzy and Bill, he got a lock off somebody. I think it was from Tri-County Locksmiths or somebody. I, I could be wrong. But uh, he took the big brother of this and stuck a wicked cylinder in here, and I can see why he did it. This lock body is impressive. It is heavy. It is well built. Um, even though I like cutting things apart, I'm not going to do it on this one unless I get another one that's a little beat up. But, uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, definitely have gradable. As you say, like, look at that. Like, there's really... The only thing impressive on there is uh, pin 6 has this weak, 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 weak spool in it. Like, it's just a tiny little line. And then there is a small reduced diameter on pin 2, which is really hard to see, and the same weak spool in pin 1. So, that's not very epic. Uh, and a little bit of different spring tension. You could probably rake this. Hey, come back here. You could probably rake this with very little effort. Um, before we go, since I already got you taking this much time, I wonder if these bottom pins are... No. They almost look steel, but... I have a feeling they're probably nickel-plated brass. Yeah, they're probably just nickel-plated. Yeah. Either way. Cool. Take care, everybody. Um, thanks for uh, coming out and watching my stuff. And uh, support your local locksmith. It's a little update. I was just ready to put this back together, and I noticed something crazy. Um, another cool feature on this lock, if it just had better pins. I'll see if I can focus on that. Might not. Come on, you bum. There we are. Counter milling on every single chamber. And that is, like, that's a sheer click. Uh... It's it's pretty cool. There's actually a ledge, and I'm surprised that they did it. They did it very cheesy. It's not like we do it. Uh, when I counter mill, I get right in there and make a big groove on the inside. 
but theirs is one diameter here and it's just a couple thou larger at the top and it goes all the way around so uh, it would definitely get uh, hung up if you had some sharper pins but yeah so thought I'd just uh, show you that so take care over and out